Hello, welcome back to my channel Excel and Protein X. In this tutorial video, I will discuss about the bacterial defense mechanism against viral attack. As we know that the fudge virus is constantly attack bacteria and the bacteria also it generates some some defense mechanism against viral attack. So first we have to know that why does bacterial fudge attack bacteria and how? So as you know that the bacteria, the virus it cannot replicate by itself and in order to reproduce the bacterial fudge attack bacteria and how it how it this bacterial fudge it attack so let's have a quick look that how this bacterial fudge attack bacteria so the bacterial fudge it attacks the bacterium cell membrane and then the virus it incorporates their genetic material inside the bacterium cell so afterwards the new virus assembles formed and eventually this virus the newly formed virus is discharged by rupturing the bacterial cell membrane so this is how this bacterial phage attack bacteria but the bacteria do not want to be infected and the, this is why the bacteria use several protective defense mechanisms against viral attack so let's have a look at what kind of defense mechanisms they have so the bacteria that survive viral attack how do that bacteria make sure that the viral attack does not happen further so this is the number one defense mechanism and that is the crispr cas9 system so because of this crispr cas9 system the bacteria make sure that the viral attack does not happen further so this crispr cas9 system is uh, is found inside the bacteria just a couple of years back and this is the mechanism of this crispr cas9 system is just similar with uh, with the memory immune memory so we have the in human we have the memory t cells and this memory t cells it can uh, recognize the past event of the past infection so this is the similar kind of things so let's have a look at what uh, what is crispr cas9 so crispr cas9 is uh, is generally is uh, assemble and this assemble contain the spacer acquisition and this spacer acquisition is nothing else this is a small portion of the dna sequence and this dna sequence is copied from the viral dna and this um, this crispr contain also this assemble contain also some repeat sequence as well as the leader sequence so when the bacterium get infected first time at that time the the some small portion of the DNA sequence is copied from the viral DNA, and this viral and this viral uh, sequence that assembled in the CRISPR CRISPR region. And when the this bacteria when when the second time they get infected, so this kind of um, uh, the RNA the small portion of the RNA sequence is for, uh, generated from this. From this DNA sequence, and this RNA sequence is complementary with the viral DNA. So whenever the viral DNA it attack this RNA, it uh, find and detect that the viral DNA and it bind with that DNA sequence. And whenever it bind, so the Cas protein it find the DNA and RNA duplex, and they destroy the viral DNA. So this is how this CRISPR uh, cas system it works. So the second mechanism is the restriction endonuclease. This is the well known mechanism that we all know. So in this mechanism, the bacterium it has multiple kinds of the restriction enzymes, and these restriction enzymes they have the different kind of um, characteristics. Each of the restriction enzymes they detect some specific sequence. They recognize this sequence and they cleave that that uh, that sequence. So, when the whenever the bacteriophage it attack the bacteria, so the restriction enzyme it um, detect and recognize the the specific kind of sequence and they cleave the foreign DNA, foreign bacteriophage DNA. 
but the bacterium DNA, bacterium DNA contains some methylation and this is why their their genome is protected against the cleavage of the restriction enzyme number three defense mechanism is the super infection exclusion system and this is little bit uh, complicated system and in this system the bacteria they uh, block the entry of the viral DNA so this is the main mechanism of this uh, of this system and it has been found that the streptococcus thermophilus phage tpj34 produces the such kind of specific localized lipoprotein and this localized lipoprotein is responsible for blockade of the entry of viral dna into the bacterial cell number four defense mechanism is the preventing phage attachment so as you know as you know that the the successful phage infection starts with the adsorption of the virus to a specific bacterial surface receptor so that's why bacteria apply some preventive strategies by preventing phage adsorption including modifying the receptor structure through the mutation and also through the counseling receptors with an additional physical barrier so this is the two different um, strategies that uh, bacteria employs and also it has been found that the k1 capsule of the e coli has been shown to directly interfere with fudge t7 attachment to its lps receptor so they have some such kind of uh, some capsule that interfere the attachment of this kind of fudge virus that's why they cannot attach properly with the bacterial bacterium cell membrane and they cannot get enter inside the bacteria so this all about the defense mechanism of the bacteria against the viral attack so if you like this video kindly hit the like button share it and subscribe my channel and if you have any queries kindly write in the comment section thanks